Hey guys, I try and avoid making a video that people could call a vlog. So I guess sitting on a sofa and talking to a camera is probably a vlog. So go ahead and call it a vlog. But what's prompted it is I just wanted to make a quick one because on the front page of YouTube at the moment is the newsreader, the uh, uh, generously proportioned newsreader. So I don't know if you guys have seen it yet. It's, it's the number one most watched video on YouTube at the moment. <clears throat> never never ceases to amaze what makes it to the top of the front page. It says a lot about society, I think, or about YouTube's society or whatever the demographic is. But anyway, uh, for those of you who haven't seen it, basically she's a, a little bit of a, a, a slightly heavy news, news reader uh, in America and she received a email from rude person it wasn't actually that rude it was an email that was basically saying you are a role model to people and to women by being a newsreader and you've been obese for a long time and you should do something about it because it's not healthy and it gives a bad example to kids so you know i'm interested actually to be honest i can see why she took offense at that but so that's one issue, is the email. So those of you who haven't seen it, have a look. Let us know what you think, whether you think that's actually... Anyway. But the main point is, um, actually a couple of things, but she's really gone on about being bullied. Now this one dude, just some dude, who let's just call him the rude dude. The rude dude sent her an email and told her he thought she was obese. You know? One person sent another person an email. Now, bullying is usually, uh, we usually call bullying when you have one person that's in a, in a more powerful position to another. So they're bigger than the other person or they have more power. So it's a boss or, or somebody that has more power than another person. This is just some dude, some rude dude, who sent a newsreader, who's sort of a high profile sort of person, uh, who's obviously probably has a better job and a better position than he does, a rude email so it's not really bullying I mean if you look up any dictionary you want to at the definition of bullying it doesn't fit it's not cyber bullying it's one email it's rudeness if you want to call it anything some people might not even call it rudeness some people might just say he was being honest but let's just call it rudeness he was being rude he wasn't built bullying huh? and the other bizarre thing is that her husband took that email and put it on Facebook. So at when if they just let it lie, so one idiot, one rude person, sent her a rude email. If they just blo deleted it, I mean, she must get lots of them. You know, people in the public eye do. I mean, even a YouTuber like myself gets lots of rude emails. We just delete them and, and block the rude person. That's the end of the story. You know, we don't have to listen to rudeness. You guys know I feel very strongly about rudeness. I, think, I don't think we have to listen to rudeness. And we have a choice, and so does she. So she could have she could have just deleted the email and blocked him and not had to think about it again. But, which is the smartest thing to do, you know? We get, you know. But instead of that, she gave it to her husband. Her husband put it on Facebook. <laughs> do, you think, do you think maybe he wants her to lose some weight? But yeah, her husband put it on Facebook, and it and then she did a public announcement on on their news show, got up on the news show, read the email, so you know if that guy, if the bully, if the rude dude, had had done that publicly, you could say that you know it was still not bullying, but you know much ruder if he'd done it publicly. He hadn't done it publicly, you know if he had, you know I've been publicly. Um, I've had people say public uh, rude things about me before. If someone leaves a rude comment on your channel on YouTube, lots of people read it. That's publicly rude. He didn't even do that. He sent her an email. One person sent another person an email. So first of all, hubby puts it on Facebook, and then she gets up on, on TV. I don't know how big the TV station is that they're on, but she gets up on TV and reads it on TV so that everybody can hear it. So, you know, this person insulted me privately and here it is publicly and read it out in public. Just bizarre. And now it's on YouTube and five and a half million people have seen it. 
So it's just ridiculous. So the reason I made this video is that to me, the whole thing just seems ludicrous. It's like, it's like, first of all, why didn't she just delete it and block it and forget about it? Um, you know, why did her husband put it on Facebook? Why did she get up on TV? Obviously, I can see why her TV station did it. It's been brilliant promotion for them. You know, they must have recognized that it would uh, attract a lot of attention, and it has. So that's why her TV station allowed her to do it. But why she allowed, why she did it, I have no idea. I mean, she's overweight. <laughs> she obviously eats too much, doesn't exercise enough. She's overweight. That's what happens. You know, I'm starting to get a bit of that myself. Too much good food, that will do that. You know, <laughs> getting up on TV and saying this person called me fat when you're obviously very fat. It's a strange thing to do. And he, his, his stupid email, his rude email was just between her and him. So that baffles me. The other reason I made this video is the video that's gone viral on YouTube with five and a half million views, the, the person who posted it uh, is not allowing comments unless they've been approved. So you post a comment on there and it has to be approved by the person who owns. And if you go through the video, uh, through the comments, they're all basically saying the same thing. So what's actually happening is the person who owns that video is only approving the, seems to be only approving the comments that agree with what that person thinks. So it's all saying, oh, isn't it terrible and that sort of stuff. So I thought I'd post this one. Um, I mean, we don't want to be all abusive about this lady, you know, but, but I'm interested in some honest points of view on this. Um, I think it's, it seems to be just, here's one point of view, it seems to be a little bit of political correctness gone crazy. And, it, and it, I imagine it's also in a society where obesity is a big problem and pe a lot of people are overweight. So it's obviously a bit of a delicate subject. But the bottom line is it's true. You know, if we don't exercise enough and if we eat too much good food, we get heavy. You know, it's what happens. And one person emailing another person and telling them that they're fat and they should do something about it as rude as that sounds, well, you know, if you don't like it, if you find that rude, delete it and block it. There's no real need to tell everybody about it. It's bizarre. Is it just me? Is it just me or is it just that whole situation bizarre? And then it becomes the most popular video on YouTube. What? That, that never ceases to amaze. What makes the front page of YouTube? It's absolutely incredible. Some of it deserves to be there. Occasionally there's some really good quality something that belongs to be there, but most days it's just baffling. You go look at the front page of YouTube. Today we've got we've got this lady that, you know, is all upset. We've got an obviously fat lady on on, an, on TV telling us that she's upset because someone called her fat. We've got Justin Bieber throwing up on stage and, and random other... Oh, is the Gundam style still happening? That, that dominated last week, didn't it? There was um, half the most popular videos of all people doing Gundam style. Gundam style. <laughs> hey, the fat lady should do Gundam style. Then she'd be really popular. Then we'd get some real hits. And she might drop a bit of weight. Oh, no. So look, overweight people. I'm 18 kilo overweight. 18 kilo. So I'm, pre I'm what's that, 25% overweight. 96 kilos, I should be 80 kilos, so I'm overweight, so, you know, I've been called, uh, until a couple of years ago, I was never overweight, but recently I have been called fat, I know what it feels like, so before anyone gets too emotional about it, you know, I'm fat, so I'm allowed to say it, <laughs> I know that's the rule, I've noticed that's the rule, um, the rest of the political correctness that we've seen, that we see all the time, you know, um, you know, on YouTube, there's Richard Pryor, and, um, you know, Eddie Murphy and uh, all the all the recent um, African Americans can stand up and talk about uh, uh, talk about racist topics as much as they like, um, but it seems that white people are not allowed to. The white people say the N word. They don't actually say the word. They say, "Oh, if you say the N word." And yet you've got Richard Pryor and all those guys up there saying it all the time. So I get the, I get it. I get it. It means that if you are actually African-American, you can say the N-word. If you're not African-American, you can't. So, so I assume that as I'm fat, I can say fat. 
I can say I am fat. She is fat. Is that right? Is that true? Oh. Okay. Anyway, the main reason for this was to get your comments. I've, I've already made mine. I wanted to see if it was just me. Maybe you guys are all going to say, no, it's terrible. It's terrible those people said that. Uh, she, she was very wise to get up on TV and read, the, read out the private email to make everybody aware uh, of that. <laughs> anyway, anyway, I'm standing by for your comments. More videos coming soon.